King Pi By 4800 BC, the Nubian Empire was established in northeastern Africa in the area which is today known as Sudan. Later, the capital cities of the Nubian Empire would be Kerma, Napata, and Moro, and the empire would go through a number of phases of development over thousands of years. By 744 BC, an African leader named King Pi who also was known as Payankai, came to power as the ruler of Nubia. King Pai governed Nubia from the capital city of Napata, which was located on the west bank of the Nile River. The great King Pai had four wives, namely Queen Tabiri, Queen Abba, Queen Kahinsa, and Queen Peksata. Now the African Empire of Egypt were Nubia's neighbors to the north and subsequent to some Egyptian incursion onto Nubia territory. King Pai launched a military campaign against Egypt. The Nubians' armies swept across Egypt, took control of the cities of Memphis, Karnak, and eventually the entire region of Upper Egypt in the south. Later, the city of Hermopolis in Middle Egypt fell. King Pai would completely surround an Egyptian city limit access to food supplies, and demand that they submit to Nubian rule. If the city declined the offer, the Nubians would attack. And so, using this strategy, city after city fell under Nubian control. This great African king was also extremely keen for his troops to perform purification before they engaged in war. He was known to deliver the following command to his armies. When ye arrive, ye shall enter into the water, ye shall bathe in the river. The Nubians believed that all warfare was conducted on two planes. The first was the physical, and the second, and more important, was the spiritual. King Pai continued to move north, eventually taking the city of Thebes and the entire region of Lower Egypt in the north. Once Pai conquered the region, he went back to Nubia and allowed the defeated rulers to govern the territory as long as they paid tribute to Nubia. And so, the great King Pai established the 25th dynasty of Egypt and established the Nubian Empire as both the rulers of Nubia and Egypt. Their power over the region would further be consolidated later by the Nubian rulers King Shabitku and King Shabaka. This period of Egypt's history is also known as the Napatan period or the Nubian period. King Pai died after 31 years of rule and was buried close to Napata in Nubia within a pyramid. He is remembered as a diplomatic ruler and patient military tactician. <laughs>